Welcome to the Crucial Classics Retro TV Series. We are going to watch episode by episode Crucial Classic TV series from the Golden Age of Hollywood. Bring your copy of each episode. We will sync up and push play at the same time. And let's just take it back to simpler times and enjoy the magic from these classic TV shows. Hi and welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. Take a look around. We have plenty of content for you to binge, mostly movies. We are introducing this new midweek content, which is uh, watch-alongs of Leave It to Beaver and The Honeymooners on Wednesdays. So, The Honeymooners, Jackie Gleason's brainchild. I was able to watch the full 39 episodes on YouTube years back because I was set on watching The Honeymooners. I had heard too much about it um, as being like an iconic show from these crucial classic days in TV, right? And just not exposed to it. Like, I have never caught the Honeymooners reruns on TV. So I went out of my way to just start looking it up. I came across the first 39 episodes, the only 39 episodes, right, that were an actual TV show it was one season. That was the first, I was like, I thought the show was like a 10 season show for how much it still is referred to, you know, as like setting the standard in this day and age. So that was the first thing I learned. It was just one season. I see Jackie Gleason on Johnny Carson one time and he was specifically asked about that. Like, why'd you only run the show one season? And he said he didn't want it to become stale. And I feel like for Jackie Gleason's career and kind of what he did, he did sketch shows. So he is in Springtime in the Rockies, is that the name of the movie with Betty Grable? He had a, this kind of a career in film <laughs> before getting into TV. And I feel like the first show that he was kind of a regular on is something called DuPont. I, when I heard it, I was like, oh, I've heard of that brand. And of course, it's like from way back in the day until it barely kind of came up until maybe the 80s. And then it's not so much around anymore. But there was some weekly kind of little sketch TV show that he was a regular on. And his segment on the show kind of seemed to be just like his brainchild. Like, what was he going to bring? What was the little sketch that he was going to bring to the show? And he started to do The Honeymooners as a little 10, 15 minute max kind of little sketch. And there was a different Alice. This lady, that was the original Alice on these little sketch shows. And so it's like once a month maybe he does that because the rest of the weekends he's doing something totally different, right? He wasn't just focused on the honeymooners. And I think 39 episodes one season and half an hour, you know, it's like doubling the time and every week I definitely could see how he, was running out of ideas given his more varied and other characters content that he continued to produce after the one season of the honeymooners he still had his own show so he morphed to kind of doing guest spots on little sketch shows introduced the honeymooners there got the honeymooners did one season of it um it was interesting they said that it wasn't necessarily uh, beating any of the competition. I feel like, you know, Lucy was doing better. There were some other shows, I think, that just maybe fared a little bit better than his. And so he, you know, he just was ready to, I think, have just more of his creative freedom. So for the rest of his little variety shows that he would do here and there, he would bring the Honeymooners back. Um, so you can come across content that is the Honeymooners, that is the original 39 episodes. Like I said, the first time that I was able to watch all of those, years back, before copyright was putting the kibosh down on this, they were available on YouTube. A couple of different channels had all 39 of them available. And then Copyright became aware and there are very few of them that are available here on YouTube. So go ahead and 
make use as you wish to of what is available here on YouTube to do watch-alongs with me. It's just unfortunate. All 39 of those episodes are not available on YouTube. So this is my job. I am researching. I'm constantly needing to find content to have on this channel. Anything that I'm watching here is because in the course of doing my research, which I have no more ability to research things than you guys do, I have found it. Okay. So if I can find it, you guys can find it. Okay. Um, and just the place where I ever share any information about these things is over on our sister Pinterest page. I will have made a board for the honeymooners, fill it with pictures from the show, and within that is where you can get a little bit more information about where I have landed upon it. But do your research, people. It's available out there, you know, so that's that. Um, we're, but we're going to be able to watch all 39. That's what's the beauty of this. So let's see. Um, yeah, you, I feel like on Amazon Prime is where I personally, just after I got through the 39 episodes, I continued the journey on with all of these lost episodes. And so again, with that classification of the lost is, it's the stuff that were the sketches before the TV show where there was a different Alice. That lady got in trouble with the um, McCarthy hearings. They ended her career, so she got blacklisted, and he could not carry her into the show. Like, just Hollywood wasn't having that to have her being a working actress. So that's how we got the Alice that's in the show. Um, that Alice continues on in these lost episodes throughout the years as he um, just continues to do content on his variety show there is a good segment of the lost episodes that is it was cool I actually I enjoyed this um it was him and the other couple won a trip around the world from some little contest that they had sent in their entry into and so there's a lot of episodes where just each series you know each episode there's some place around the world that was cute to watch um it continues on into the 70s like just kind of as long as he had his career going and he was on camera here and there he would bring a little update on the honeymooners and then it did change out there was a different alice there was i feel like maybe you know what is i think trixie may have been consistent from the show forward i feel like maybe Trixie was usually always played by that same actress and it is hilarious um Norton I feel like wins an Emmy at a point in time for his role doing this and since the show was only one season I wonder if he wins that Emmy in this season or if he won it in the future for these on his variety show okay so it's hilarious it is I love it I love it it is definitely worth its hype you know what I mean like it's not something that you immerse yourself into and you're disappointed so ways that I recommend do everything on one screen with me um, pull this video of me into one tab the video of the episode into another the lock side by side make the episode take up more of the screen me in theater mode HDMI cable from your device into your TV now one screen, your biggest screen, you're doing that when you're just making it work. You don't have all these casting and other little wireless technologies available. Uh, you have that other technology, then it is launching the episode full screen and me in the corner. So get the episode queued up, come back to this video of me, play on TV, picture in picture, I'm shrinkable, floatable, you move me into a corner of the video and that is the ideal and preferred way that you should go about doing these. But here, you know what? I made this work this morning. I have my other TV series reactions channel where all I'm doing on that is just watching shows that I more either kind of grew up on or just sussed out and watched and was addicted to myself as I have been an adult. It's just my guilty pleasure over there as well. Um, but this morning I had the premiere for the latest episode of Martin and I was just watching me on my TV and I had the episode on my computer because I didn't feel like going through casting. I don't know why. It's not like it's a lot to do, but I just made two devices work and it was perfectly fine. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's do playing in three, two, one, click. I'm going to have to um, give you the runtime on my little graphic right here because we'll kind of know that when we 
wrap up here. This music, I believe Jackie Gleason actually has a hand in. It is so cool, dude. Jackie Gleason did music too. He did this type of lush instrumental big band. No music or vocal to it. He had a career doing that too. You can find his music on uh, Spotify. <laughs> I've listened to it. It's good going to sleep music. I feel like he won Grammys. Gross. I just, you know, my concern about what she just did, that was the plunger. She was rushing in from, looks like, the bathroom. With the plunger from the bathroom for the kitchen sink. Gross. And I was curious, what did she have in this bag that she's just opening up? It's peas. The sound quality kind of sucks, I have to say. She makes him feel like the king. Never fails. It's so interesting the difference that's. Oh, okay. The difference between their apartments, theirs is so decorated, Trixie's. They have curtains, they have nice furniture. Their apartment is set up like this because of Ralph's decision. He's just not gonna spend the money. Oh, that, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> What's he gonna say? Who is she talking to? <laughs> it's not going to work on Ralph. dynamic they have it. <laughs> Is she gonna bring his slippers? <laughs> Her mother. <laughs> I like pink lemonade. <laughs> it's so out of character for how they interact. Oh, he's just thinking, like, what's she up to? <laughs> ah!
Look, here we go. Okay. Well, what is the reason? Okay, yeah. <laughs> And she feels like they live in a slum. And it looks like it. A dev? Mm. The redness on her head. Their refrigerator is crazy. not much they're laughing that would be nice Watch out. <laughs> she never flinches. Oh, okay. Bowling. <laughs> the contrast between her and June Cleaver, huh? Take your pick.
He's always watching Captain Video. Yeah. I came across something about Captain Video in my research. Or, like, that was a real show or something. That's the reason why he said that. All right. Oh, he doesn't even want to watch it. Norton always says corn. <laughs> Heads I win or tails you lose. Tails you win <laughs> if it's <laughs> so did they do it? Look, oh my gosh, this food that he has. The Cosby show is just I hate to say that, but that's where the Cosby show got that from. I can see now. He has literally got a six foot long sub. Isn't it a sub that he's about to pull out of his back? Okay, part of it. A part of it. I thought he had one thing in that whole bag. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't have a sub. <laughs> I thought it was a sub as big as that bag. I think he has popcorn in it. Why is he gonna open it all stupid like that? Doesn't it flip open? Okay. No. His little snacks. Oh, that did. <laughs> Popcorn. <laughs> wow, he's like ready to be at the movie theater, huh? Is this how he goes to the movies? <laughs> Everything has to be just in the right. What, so he could see the TV guide? This full and Captain video, hey, he's real serious about it. This is so cool, right? Like, the change from only movies to TV for people to be in their homes like it is an event right that voice that is one of the dudes that will be an extra I mean it's an event to watch this show he has a helmet even so <laughs> oh wow okay Norton <laughs> he said this was going to be the hardest thing for him to go down <laughs> video So he, the helmet has an opening, like his face is coming through. <laughs> oh, 
fucking wrong. <laughs> Something about brushing his teeth. Norton has been having it his own way. That would sound right. Norton is greedy. Oh, he has his rights. Okay, that's the TV guide. Okay, wow. <laughs> Ralph's always about to hit him. So, is this stuff that they're making just for TV? That is what my rabbiters look like. Not that stuff in the middle, but we'll open them up. <laughs> it is a trip my channels will just go away sometimes and you do you have to get it just right because <laughs> I literally have those type of rabbiters I know that they have like better stuff <laughs> ah Kavron <gasps> in his house wow we'll change the channel back and <laughs> Where's Alice? <coughs> Captain Video is obviously programming for little kids. <laughs> so he's just staying up way too late. Oh. So he can watch something he wants. He's got to hop on at like midnight to two. <coughs> they have an episode. I think it might be in the Lost episodes where they buy a house together. One o'clock. And the ladies get up and make breakfast in the mornings. And Norton takes the whole stack of pancakes that they bring out. He doesn't leave anything for Ralph. Norton is always eating like a pig and stays so skinny compared to Ralph. He's got to drive his bus. Yeah. One o'clock. Ralph, he has to go to work early. 
This is crazy, huh? It does. I will say that for the longest time when I was doing 40 hours, before this last little gig I just had, I hate that. I hate having to compress my personal time getting home from work, right? It's like your, your time, your free time during the week. And I just was kind of a rebellious about 10 o'clock, I gotta be tucked in, you know? <laughs> it doesn't make you feel like an adult to have like an earlier bedtime. But it totally impacts your next day at work, huh? <laughs> if you're just needing to look at him. <laughs> I have to be able to stay up until one o'clock. I don't, I wasn't usually doing until one o'clock. I mean, my goodness. But a good midnight. <laughs> I know Ed is not coming in here at one o'clock. <laughs> what does he have? Does he have a sub? <laughs> wow. Is he going to keep it real low? My dad, yes, he does have a sub. My dad said that TV used to end back in the day. And like before they would turn off the TV for the night, they would uh, do the national anthem. <laughs> no, he does not keep it low. Wasn't right. What? Look at her, look at her. <laughs> ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Poor soul. late for them to have to go to work tomorrow. They both have to go to work. Is it watching? Wow. They just show you two star. So it, they're just showing you like what TV does to your life, right? <laughs> That's interesting, 39 episodes because back in this day in TV, a season was 39 episodes. We'll see that for um, Leave It to Beaver. This music, let's see. 
if they credit him with this music, Sammy Spear is the musical director, but that's Peggy Morrison. Entire production supervised by Jackie Gleason. Do mind, okay? Enterprises. I feel like at a point they credit him for that music too. Okay, that was that. All right, yay. Let's go. 39 episodes, the originals. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.